Hi guys, welcome to my new video and in this video I'm going to share with you my experience about my new tablet Huion Canvas Pro 24 Plus and Huion was very kind to send me this tablet for review and I have to mention that this video is not sponsored and all opinions about this tablet are my own so I'm so excited to share with you my experience about this tablet and I hope you'll find this video useful Now let's get started I want to follow the rules of traditional review videos and start this video with unboxing process. I think the unboxing of this tablet is especially pleasant because you can see how big is this tablet. Let's look first at the box. Very nice packaging. The box is really sturdy. I'm, I think it's very important for international buyers so your tablet will get to you in a good condition. And the design is really nice as well. On the sides of this box you can see the features of the tablet which I will be discussing in details later in this video. The virus instruction may look scary at first, but believe me, everything is much easier than it looks in the picture. Let's get things out of the box and the first thing you see is a foam, which is really nice. Next I found the smaller box, which I think contains all the accessories. Let's have a look at them. The first thing is a big charger, the glove is a tissue, then three wires, I don't remember the name of these wires, but I think you can follow the instruction and find the names. Inside the little black box I found the pencil, I think it's really nice, it's not too heavy and not too light, which is pretty convenient. It also comes with the extra pen tips which I usually rarely change and the most important thing I see here is the stand which I'm going to attach to the tablet just few little steps and it's done however first I attached this stand upside down which was really funny but then I had to redo all this work now the most satisfying part Here's first look at the tablet, you can see that this stand is so amazing, it's very adjustable, the height is really nice. Time to connect the wires, two goes to the computer and one goes to the tablet. Ta -da! To make the tablet work properly, first we have to install the drivers. Go to the official website, choose your model, your operation system and download it. I am choosing here the latest version and downloading it. When you're installing it, just follow the steps, which are so easy. I am now going to show you the interface of this driver. So sorry that it's not in English, but I think everything is pretty similar for all the languages. In the corner you saw the co monitor calibration button which I am not going to touch now. I prefer to show you now the pencil calibration part which is more interesting for me. Here you can set the shortcuts to the two buttons on your pencil and on the second side you can adjust the pen pressure which is very important. Initially the red and blue dots were in the middle and the pressure sensitivity was not good at all. I played around and found the perfect position for the red and blue dots and now the pressure sensitivity is very nice. Now I can control the thickness of the line with pen pressure which is perfect for the drawing process. As you can see it's 8000 pressure sensitivity which is standard for the most of the tablets. That's all for the driver settings. Now I want to say a few words about color calibration, which is very important for my drawing process. For my main work, I always use my Dell monitor, which I calibrated a few years ago, and I always use this monitor as a reference for colors. When I first compared the colors of Huion tablet and my main monitor, I noticed that the colors were a bit different, but this wasn't a problem because Huion tablet allows you to calibrate your colors manually. You can make your colors brighter, darker, more saturated, cooler, warmer as you want. 
Speaking about the monitor itself, first thing I have to mention is that it's a 2K monitor. The colors are so beautiful. Huion also has 4K monitors, but they are a bit more pricey. I was just looking at my old works and admiring the quality of this monitor, the colors, everything was so perfect and so big. You can really zoom in and see tiny little details of your drawings, which is amazing and experience that I have never had before. I also have to mention that sometimes it's very difficult to make a video of the tablet because it's it's really hard to depends on the lighting in your room. Sometimes it may look so good person in person but it may look awful in your, on your camera. So here I try to catch the right lighting to show you really the quality of the monitor. Obviously I cannot say that this tablet is the best tablet in the world because I haven't tried bigger tablets from other companies but I'm just trying to share with you my feelings and now we are moving to drawing process. I mostly use Photoshop on computer and Procreate on iPad. I think both programs are so great. There is some things that I want to be in Photoshop from Procreate and some things I want from Photoshop in Procreate. Now I'm going to show you a little speed painting process of the first drawing I made on this tablet. So I'm done with the drawing, I really like the result. The process wasn't difficult because I'm very familiar with Photoshop and my first experience with using this tablet was almost perfect except one thing which I'm going to share with you now. You might have noticed that this tablet doesn't have any buttons on the sides, so Huion sent me this small little keyboard together with this tablet. You can connect it to your computer with Bluetooth or with wire. 
which I think is very convenient. Honestly, I think this tablet is really really cute. All the buttons are customizable. I attach uh, little stickers because at first I couldn't memorize all the placements of the shortcuts. At first I was trying to use it, but then I realized that I am using much more sh shortcuts than the buttons on this small keyboard. I noticed that I was reaching for my main keyboard way too often and at the end I just decided to switch to my main keyboard because it was getting a bit annoying. But I think that small keyboard can be still useful for some people. I have been drawing digitally for more than 4 years now and I have tried many different drawing tablets. Here you can see my old Wacom, which I am not using now. And next you can see my beautiful Huon tablet, which I am sometimes using when I am lazy to set my bigger tablets. And here is probably my most used tablet, which is iPad 13 inch, which I have been using for 2 years now. This tablet is also great. Maybe I will make a comparison video in the future. And here is new Huion Canvas 24 Plus next to them. I think I will be using this tablet a lot, but please don't feel the urge to get this tablet. I understand that this tablet is pricey and Huion also has a lot of more affordable options, but if you are considering upgrading your tablet, I think this is the perfect option. If you have any other questions about this tablet, please feel free to contact me on Instagram or here in the comments. I hope this video was useful for you. Big thanks to Huion company for sending me this tablet for review. I really appreciate it and still cannot believe that they really sent it to me because I have always been dreaming about trying bigger professional tablets and dreams come true. And as always your help guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope to create more content for this channel in the future. So hope to see you in my next videos, bye!